Howdy y'all, Joe Hills here recording as I always do in Nashville, Tennessee, and today on the Hermitcraft server, we are going to start laying out our play field. You see this dangerous looking tab slot here in front of me with this open gap that somebody could just fall through? We need to close that. That's where the hooks that hold the play field to this lockdown bar mountain bracket are going to be secured, but we can't do that without a lot of help from our friends. Luckily, I filled most of these chests here with light gray glass. And I've got the black stone I need to start framing out the edges of the play field. It'll basically function like a giant tray that holds all the components of the game and the ball and the flippers and all that. But because this is a pretty complicated thing dealing with a 6.5 degree slope all the way up the sides, I can't just bring in the hermits to say, okay, y'all, put in a diagonal plane with a 6.5 degree slope. Nope. I need to go ahead and get the kind of edges of it laid out and get it started so that way when they roll in on Monday they can just place all the materials that we need as we go and then we'll just have a nice chill relaxed show time skip hi Joe howdy Cleo I heard you like helping hermits I do like helping hermits it's my favorite thing aside from helping myself well and murdering Jeff fortunately both you and Jeff are hermits and, you know, any way that you can help him find his way to the grave, I'm sure he appreciates. You're, you're taking a lot of weight off the ferryman, a lot less for the Grim Reaper to do. You are just one of those intrinsically helpful people, and I appreciate I you coming am. out today. I'm glad you appreciate it. So, we are doing things at your pinball machine, which in no way relates to, to Jevin. No, we are not here to prank Jevin. We are here no. to place... <laughs> Light gray yes. glass in order to complete what's basically a diagonal plane. I have gridded out with side rails here and elevation change markers. How far mm -hmm. back the bottom of the plywood for the play field will go. And we're going to use glass for the underside of that because the top of the play field will be like painted in with like bright concrete powder and cool things like that. Ooh. And uh, then when people fly underneath here as part of the elytra course... I want them to be able to look up and still see that artwork. So I think they should look really good when it's all done. But for right now, we're just trying to get all of this glass in. Uh, now, you do know how to walk in a straight line while placing blocks, right, Cleo? I, I am aware of how to walk in a straight line and I am aware how, aware how to place blocks. I think, like, maybe I could probably do those things at the same time. Wow. You know? Well, I I'm mean, not saying this I'm... is a race, but look at how fast I'm going. Yeah, but I'm just doing three times the amount of blocks you are, Joe. So uh, yeah, what it's, can I say? It's, it's, not, it's not a race. I, I just said that, but, you know, that's fine. So how many blocks is this, do you think? Uh, Six double chests worth. So that's 64 times 54 times six. So I think like 27,162. That is more than I anticipated. But you know what? I've placed more blocks than that in my lifetime. I'm sure I can function as a grown adult. No, I don't know where I was going with it either. Okay, this is a lot of glass. I... Yeah, I did the math on it. It's um, it's about 202 minutes worth of work, but you can easily do it in parallel because the lines are literally parallel lines. So 202 mm -hmm. minutes worth of work with two hermits is only going to be 101 minutes worth of work. Hey, Cleo, <laughs> looks like we knocked the whole thing out. We did sure finish that job. Well, I appreciate all your help. And, you know, even though HHH isn't a paid gig, I did want to express some thanks. Here are Aww. two to the fourth Royal Emeralds. That's an exponential gain and a llama. Enjoy a llama. <laughs> I, I do enjoy a llama. Why is there a llama? I wanted to say thank you. Oh, thank See, you. Look With how a affectionate llama? he is. He's very affectionate llama. He he is very la he is very affectionate to the llama. Well, thank you for my my excess royal emeralds. I do appreciate a good old representation of the king's authority. Use them anywhere you want. Um, you know, I've been using a lot of mine at Grian's shops because what's he gonna do? What's he going to do? Yeah, he's 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 not going to form a coup at all. No, he's not going to resist anything. 
but like he also sells a lot of concrete powder and that's really hard to make so go cash that in for 16 stacks of concrete powder would be my advice i see what you did there and i think that's exactly what i'm gonna do <laughs> all righty catch you later cleo thanks again bye with all this glass in place thanks to zombie cleo's help we are actually now ready to start laying in some other parts here like this is going to be our shooter lane this might look familiar at least once we start um you know stripping away some of the bark this is basically very similar to how we set up our nether tunnel we did that one nine wide because of the way that the uh, nether tunnels were laid out but eight wide is actually the proper scale for our pinball machine now everything up until this point is going to be like a metal cover and a ball uh kind of ejector that will bring the ball from the trough up into the uh, shooter lane here we need to add some switches the plunger itself will go back there there's a lot of pieces in here that are a work in progress but i want to go ahead and just rough in as many of those as i can right now so that y'all have a clear picture of what we're working with so as we get toward the end here i'm actually realizing we need to clear out this whole little storage area that we had set up this is all gone now i was gonna say luckily there's no glass left from cleo and i earlier looks like there might have been a little bit so we'll go ahead and we'll grab that oh, look at how cleaned up that is already boom then we can just plow through here and get all of this removed making way for the rest of this i figure we'll pull that out boom that's looking good that's looking great we'll get the rest of the wood in here and we'll keep going time skip as you can see on the right here our shooter lane is looking pretty good we have a pretty good start on it anyway and now that i've got that in i was able to mark out directly on the glass with leaves where the metal apron that guards the ball trough and the drain should go now doing some math on that even just the top of that thing which is going to be pretty close to the glass there is going to be about 40 stacks of material if i wanted to do it with black stone which we are already using for the vinyl wrapped wood rails along the side here as well as the back of the machine that's 40 stacks of black stone we, we have some black stone but the metal that the apron is made out of versus the wood that the machine and these rails are made out of have a slightly different texture so i think we actually want to go with black concrete powder here Fortunately, I do, I do know that our friend Grian is selling black concrete powder. I'm sure he's going to be thrilled with all this business. One of one player will be at least. Thank you for going to sleep. I love this bed mod. I always forget that it does that. Um, uh, see, Grian knew that there were going to be people needing a lot of this stuff. All right. So we've got one full shulker plus another 13 stacks there. Grian is going to be rolling in money. We're going to leave six stacks here just in case any other hermits need those materials. I don't want to buy out the whole server. But we do have a whole bunch of concrete that we need to go start converting from powder into usable material. Time skip. I have been doing a ton of concrete powder mixing, but I think it's time to take a break. Ooh, that's new. What is this? Cubs Frog Light Farm. Wow, people are really moving out here to the end of the yellow tunnel. I worked hard on this. I'm glad it's getting used. Although, Beef's Game Card Factory apparently still doesn't actually have, like, a path leading to the portal. That's that's a little bit of a disappointment. But Beef asked us to come by, and uh, let's see what he's up to. Well, that sure is something. It looks like a work in progress, but I'm, I'm liking it so far. Huh. It's hard to really see it too much from down here but I, I do like the diamonds that's a cool element can't tell what this is maybe a calculator let's go back up in the sky if we go back up in the sky it'll be clearer what stuff is how do we not end up in the sky there that was a disappointment to everybody oh those are flowers oh and i guess that's my arm 50 and 80. Huh. I wonder what those mean. Either way, we gotta find beef. Beef! 
Vintage Beef. Where you at, buddy? Hey, Joe. How you doing? Good, good. How are you? Not too bad. You got some snazzy glasses on. Oh, thank you, thank you. I do dress to impress. Well, I'm definitely impressed, so job done. Whew, alrighty, I'll head out then. <laughs> wait, 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 I need you for one more thing. Oh, what was that? Check this out. Check, do you want to see Do you want to see something special? I do. It's the Joe Hills card. Ooh, I like it. I like the flowers. We got an elytra there. Very yeah, fancy. Yeah. yeah, the Joe Hills card is almost ready to be completed, but in order to complete it, I need Joe Hills, the actual, the real Joe Hills, to, uh, to help me out. Well, I have arrived. What may I do? Good. All you have to do is push each of these buttons once. These will determine the values of your card. So the higher the number in all three occasions, the better. Okay. So I want to do better than 290, 50, and 80. So 300 is the best for your HP. Mm -hmm. uh, 60 is the best for... Wait, is it 60 or 70? It's 60. And then 100 is the best for the last one. All righty. Well, you know what? I believe in me, and uh, I'm going to press too. the button. With, with glasses like those, I mean, come on. I mean, this is the face of somebody who's ready for action. Button <laughs> press and action. Let's see if I can do this That's in the right. second person. I did. Can I hit this next one? I yep, did. Yep, yep, in any order. Oh, I got that one. That's fine. And then the third one, I'm just going to go back into first person mode because there's no way I can reach that. So, okay. okay, here we go. The secondary attack is 90. That seems good. That's good. Second highest, yep. 270 HP, so that, that's not the best. Not bad. 250 is the lowest, so that's not bad. That's right in the middle there. Okay, so like if we look over here, some of these hermits have lower than 270. I see B-dubs over here with 260, uh -huh. false There's with 250. False, 250, yep. Yeah, yeah, okay. I'm, I'm, feeling, I'm feeling better about that 270 then. And then uh, what, what do you got there, Beef? This is where the bad news comes in. Uh-oh. <laughs> 30 primary attack. <laughs> 30 oh. primary attack. Um, wow. There's a few people with 30, like Jevin has 30 here. Uh, yeah, um. but like getting lumped in with Jevin <laughs> is always a high point of my day. <laughs> Let me tell you. Uh, so I see there's an oh, Etho man. here with 30. What's yes, up with that? Yes, it's an ultra rare. He actually rolled, these are the lowest possible numbers, and he rolled the lowest possible numbers. So I made his, his card an ultra rare just to be a little more fair to him. <laughs> Okay. Well, that's fair. Hopefully, hopefully people will want to use my special attack more anyway. Uh, what are the names of these two attacks? Uh, oh, they're, that's they're... the thing. They're blank right now. I'm going to I'm gonna ask for viewer suggestions on what we should... I've, I've done it the same for every single card. Viewers mm -hmm. suggest the best names. And then once uh, they suggest, you know, like maybe eight, nine names, I will take those to you and you, can, you have final approval on the names. Oh, awesome. Well, I look forward coming back you're not even you're not even done yet you got to do it one more time all over again because that was for your common card now it's for your rare card so give me those guys back i'll put them back in the dispensers uh, there you, and, well um, i threw them right behind you <laughs> beautiful well done here we go okay do it again one more time this is for your rare card chance okay. to redeem that 30 attack got got to get a good attack this time 270 hp i'm, I'm nothing okay, if not same, consistent health same. wise yeah that's right <laughs> Uh, 50 primary attack. I like That's that. That's better. And uh, 90 secondary attack. Nice. That's not bad. That's going to be a solid card. Awesome. Good work. Thanks, dude. Anytime. And uh, yeah, I look forward to coming back and evaluating those names. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I will uh, I'll let you know as soon as we have um, the, the top voted ones. Fantastic. Keep adventuring. You know I will. We are back here at our pinball machine playfield, and I have some good news and some bad news. The good news is that by the time you see this Vintage Beefs poll asking folks to submit new ideas for attack names should be open. I'm going to put a link to that in the YouTube video description below. The bad news is this would not be a Joe Hills episode if I didn't realize I had screwed up something and had to radically redo it. So it turns out that these tabs here... They don't attach to the top of the plywood and then screw in from the top because that would be a mechanically foolish way to do it. They actually go underneath the playfield. So I've got two sets of amazing scaffolds here set up as well 
as all of the fire coral I should need, but not all the elytras, because why would I have those ready? You know, like a professional Minecrafter or whatever. But basically, we can just swing down here and roll in with all of the fire coral we will need to properly fix these tabs. Let's get these properly deployed. That one was fine. Either way, though, that's actually going to come down like this and go all the way underneath here. And I did some measurements on the machine. It actually goes all the way out to here. Woo, look at that. I mean, I guess if you're going to have something held in place, you know, on like a $10,000 machine, you're probably going to want to have it held in place for a good, uh, you know, I don't know. Please don't sleep, says Scar. Scar is scared of nightmares. He won't admit it, but we need to pressure him about it anyway, because it will help him ultimately confront his fear. Anyway, I've got all these scaffolds in here. Uh, yay! Now that he admitted it, that's the first step to confronting his fears. Awesome! On the plus side, too, since we're down here, uh, you know, below the glass, we don't really have to worry too aggressively about all them, uh, what do you call them, beholders or phantoms or whatever. So we can just fall into the water and then try to back up. That'll be fine. Time skip. Well, hello there, subwatery squid. Look at this, what we got up here it is that these tabs are now complete. Looking pretty fine. I think that they are ready for me to remove the scaffolding that undergirds them. Shouldn't be too much effort. You know, I can just swing by here with my boat and just go boom, boom, boom. Ah! Okay, maybe this was a bad idea. Okay, so not every part of every plan is going to be perfect. But on the whole, this is turning out pretty okay. You know? This uh, tab here looks a lot more logical underneath our play field in that way. So does this one. You actually see how that would hook into there, and that would hold that up, supporting all that weight. That's pretty fantastic. So we can just go ahead and destroy that, destroy that. Eventually, we can come back through here and get rid of all the excess water as, like, an HHH or something. But for now, I feel like that's kind of out of scope. We're doing okay on the whole. Speaking of which, I did go ahead and set up a secondary reference play field over here with the little map and stuff so you can see how the metal apron markers we've set up with the leaves are in place now. You can see the shooter lane right there. You know, this is this is feeling like a pretty strong start on the whole, but I think that we should call it an episode here. I want to remind everybody once again, go check out Beef's episode Go make sure to leave suggestions for amazing attacks that I could make in his card game. But we are running out of time. The sun is setting. It's time to go. Until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.